Well, hello and welcome to program 54 in the series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and let me just show you the website. That is M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X dot com. And there you can sign up and join our email list. And I'll let you know when I create new programs or tutorials. So today we're going to be looking at program 54, which I've called the Markplex Hammer strategy for TradeStation. And what this program does is look for a hammer candlestick pattern in a downtrend to go short and what I've called a inverse hammer in an uptrend to go long. And the way that I've defined a hammer is pretty simple. For a hammer, I've said that both the open and the close need to be in this region between these two lines here. And the size of that is determined by a user input bar percentage. Now this could of course mean that the uh, these two lines are sort of very close to each other, perhaps more like a, a doji, but uh, if you wish to, and this program is available unprotected, you can modify that and uh, define the candlesticks exactly as you like. And then the uh, the inverse hammer is similar except we're measuring from the high and uh, still using the bar percentage to calculate the size of the the hammer now or rather the inverse hammer now of course the the the, uh, the trick with this sort of program is really to be able to define trend so what i've done is i have created by default a couple of ways of doing this and these are included by default with the program the first one is to calculate um, a an exponential moving average and then to use linear regression to find out the angle, the slope, the slope angle of the EMA. And if that is greater than zero, we can uh, we know we're sloping upwards and if it's less than zero we know we're sloping downwards and i'm going to go through the user inputs in a moment you'll be able to see uh, what you can change in terms of the exponential moving average the other thing that i've put in the default version is a daily moving average and what the program does is if uh, yesterday's daily moving average is lower than today's then the program will assume that that is an uptrend and uh, vice versa for a downtrend. And what I've done in, if you do decide to download this, I've created a bonus video. And in that bonus video, I'm going to show you how you could not use the default filters, perhaps create your own, or use one or two of the ones that I've included within the source code. What I'm also going to include with this program are my three line break and my point and figure functions that were introduced in program 51. And I will also show you how you could use those within the program. That is all in the bonus video that you will get notification of if you do decide to download this program. Now, in terms of the trade management, we can set a the number of contracts that we want to trade we can also set the profit target in terms of a number of ticks multiple ticks the program uses set profit target the uh, the built-in function from tradestation similarly we can set uh, the trail and again this is set as a multiple of ticks and that uses the set dollar trailing function that is included with tradestation we also have stop loss ticks and this determines how many ticks that uh, would be in place as a stop loss when we first get into a trade. I'm just trying to see if I can see any in this example and I can't at the moment, but uh, oh, there we go. And of course, this would depend on the number that you have set in the user inputs. Then finally, we have a end of day exit time and you can either set this to zero if you're prepared to uh, go outside uh, overnight for instance, or you can set a time when you wish to leave or exit trades. So let's just have a look at the inputs for the program, those other ones, and uh, double click on this to look at the inputs. So number contracts, num CTS, target ticks, trail ticks, 
stop loss ticks just talked about those and then the end of day exit time in this case I've got it set to zero which means that we don't exit at a specific time if I'd set it to a specific time then the program would exit next bar and incidentally this program has intrabar, intrabar order generation set to false Okay, so let's go back to the inputs. Now, those are the, as it were, trade management inputs. Below this, we have the bar percentage. That would determine the size of the hammer, as I previously mentioned, and you can go to the web page and read more about that. Then the others are used by the default filters. So EMA period, that determines the length that goes into the EMA calculation. The length, this is used by the linear regression angle calculation and min angle the uh, the slope you can actually determine whether that slope has to be above a certain value in terms of an angle and uh, I've got it set as zero in other words it's an up uh, the, the way the program is defining the trend at the moment is it is up if the angle is greater than zero and it is down if the angle is less than zero and then finally we've got the daily moving average length and this program incidentally uses a price series provider to calculate the daily moving average okay so just one other thing just want to mention how the program places trades so, so let's get to the program itself and you'll see here we have the entries and uh, what you'll do is what, what it actually does is enter the uh, short trade at the low of the the signal bar minus one tick and similarly with the buys it will buy at the high of the signal bar plus one, one tick using stop orders okay so I hope you might find this program useful it is available at markplex.com fortunately this won't work on multi charts because it's using the price series provider but the default program includes the price series provider you can comment that out of course if you wish to and uh, again, if you're not part of our Markplex email mailing list, then please go to markplex.com and I would be happy to let you know when we create new programs or tutorials. Thank you.